Hey everyone, I hope you're doing really awesome today. Let me know if my mic sounds a bit louder. Someone told me that my mic was too low. I raised it a little bit because I don't know if it's too low or not. So let me know if it should be louder or not. But thank you for letting me know. So I got a few people asking me for a tutorial on how to enable the achievements enabler mod. So this video is going to be about how to enable that and install that for Starfield. First thing I want to say is there was a couple people in the last couple videos that mentioned that modding is a lot easier whenever you just go onto Vortex, you download Vortex and you press like automatically download while I am aware of that, I've been modding for years, I know that it's really easy to do it like that. Some people prefer to do it manually. And also, since Starfield is a really new game, there's not that many mods that allow for that automatic download and mod installation. So you kind of have to manually download them. Over time, there will be, most of them will be like automatically downloaded. But for now, we don't really get a lot of that options for a lot of the mods. And also some people like doing things manually, so... I hope you guys are having an awesome time playing Starfield if you are right now. I know it came out on the 6th and it's been getting super popular on social media. Everybody's talking about it. There's a lot of like differing opinions and stuff and it's been really interesting to see. I will say also, um, if you're new to my channel, if you didn't know, I mainly don't really create content on YouTube. I do Twitch full time and I stream on there and I'm also currently playing lots of Starfield if you want to come and watch. It's all I've been playing for like since since early access was out for Starfield. And if you're interested, I stream Wednesdays to Sundays and I go live at 11 a.m. Eastern, which I know is early for some. And I usually am live to about 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to come hang out, I'll be there. So we're going to get into the Achievement Enabler mod and how to install it into your computer files for Starfield. This will ensure that your achievement achievements will still be working even after you have some mods. Sometimes it can be a little weird and they'll disable your mods even if like sometimes you press the console command by accident and sometimes I can just completely fuck things and it'll disable your achievements. So this is just to avoid that. So like always I will put the mod in the description and anything else that I need to in the description so look on there if you need any information. So for this mod it's a little weird. It's not too complicated to install but it is a little different. I am only going to be doing this for people who own Starfield on Steam. I don't own it on Game Pass or Xbox on the PC. So if you have it on Game Pass, uh, I can't really help you there. So this is for people who have the Steam version. But this mod does include instructions on how to do it for Xbox as well. And it seems very relatively similar to the Steam version. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up this GitHub page. After that, you're just going to scroll down a little bit and you're going to find the file that says bink2w64.dll. You're going to click that and you're going to download it. It'll pop up and you'll download it and WinRAR will remind you to please subscribe. <laughs> So the next thing you want to do is you want to open up your Steam like normal, open up your local files for Starfield. So when you open up your Starfield folder, you're going to look for a file called bink2w64.dll. You're going to get this file and you're going to rename it to bink2w64hooked.dll. Then after that, you're just going to get the file that you downloaded from the mod and you're going to drag it in there and that's it. After that, you're gonna go to your folder that you're already in for Starfield and you're just gonna stay there. You're gonna manually download the mod for this. Ignore this, this is what we just did with the DLL file. Once that's downloaded, you wanna keep your file open for Starfield that you had open from Steam. If you don't have it open again, just go back to your Steam, open browse local files. So once you're in your folder for Starfield, you wanna right click, make a new folder and name that folder plugins. After that, you're gonna get the mod that you just downloaded and you're gonna open up plugins and drag and drop this .asi file into this folder. And that's literally it. It's not too complicated. I feel like the uh, star UI was probably a bit more complicated than this, even though it really wasn't. So your folder should look like this. You should have the bink2 or bink 2 w 64dll and then the original one that you named hooked after that. And then your plugins, which will have the mod in there. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this really helped you a lot. I feel kind of annoying making these videos and tutorials and how to do these things. Cause then I have some people that are like, oh, it's easy. You don't need to make a tutorial about it. And I'm just like, Okay, <laughs> so I hope this helps everybody who ever needs this help. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it so much. Thanks for all the really nice comments. It's been really nice to see people be nice. People are not usually nice to uh, women online. Um, so it's been really nice and a breath of fresh air. So thank you. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a really good rest of your day and enjoy playing Starfield. I hope everybody's loving it so much. <laughs> okay, bye.